from the problems. I want you to follow me now. See, the problem is this. He needs it. But the problem is, he doesn't want to feel like he's raping his wife. Most men feel that way. They won't tell you. That's how they feel. They always got to be the one to initiate relationship. And most of the time, they reject it. You reject the man the first time, no problem. Reject the second time, he stops trying. Reject the third time, he's no longer interested in you. It's that serious. So he comes to bed, turns his back to you, watch TV for a while, goes to bed. And he's angry. Because he has to fight for something that is natural. Let me tell you something. Listen to me carefully. It's like a, it's like a car. You see, Brother Larry? It's like a car. Okay, your car... Ladies, listen to me now. Your car needs what? Gasoline. Do you like gasoline? No. Do you drink gasoline? No. Is it good for you? No. But it's good for who? The car. And you want the car to what? Function. So even though you don't like the gasoline, you got to give the car what it needs. But you don't personally like it. Use your brains. Now, I'm going to tell you something about cars. If you come up to a gas station, you need gasoline, and the station is closed, what do you do? You go look for another station. Let me tell you all something. This is serious business. I want to admonish you women, born again, full of the Holy Ghost. Put a sign on your station. Always open. <laughs> and put a little extra sign. Premium octane. <laughs> All the men say amen. amen. A man don't want to fight for this thing. I've talked to some men, I mean literally counsel hundreds of them, who say, you know, my wife and I were born again, we're deacons in the church, but boy, we, it, I'm having a tough time, Pastor. So why? I got to fight every time for sex. You say, I'm tired fighting, man. And right away I know the marriage is in danger. Initiated. You want a happy husband? Initiate intercourse with your husband. Set it up. I give you all my, my wife's secret. What my wife's secret? Yeah. Yeah. 24 years of wonderful bliss. She's a sharp woman. Boy. My wife's smart. I give you a secret. You can ask about it later. My wife has this little thing she does. She, she bought a blue bulb. A little lamp with a blue bulb in the bedroom. Blue light special, right? Now. <laughs> Go home, girl. Make your move. Make your move, girl. Make your move, Francine. And I'm coming home from a long day, traveling from Japan, wherever, hard, tired, walking in that room, and there's that blue light. Ooh, glory. Oh, energy comes back immediately. I began to speak in tongues for a while. Hey, hey. Thank you. <laughs> Wise woman. It says a foolish woman tears her house down with her own town. But a wise woman builds it up. It's a joy to go home. Most men don't go home. They go to another home. What a tragedy. Okay, man. You had enough fun. Now it's your time. The number one need of a woman is completely opposite. Here it is. It's affection. The number one need of a woman is what? Affection. Very important. A woman doesn't need sex as much as she needs affection and love. Affection is not love. 
Affection is not sex, rather. Most men believe that when they are completed with their sexual experience, the woman is happy. It's not necessarily true. Matter of fact, many times, most women are angry after their husband climaxes because she's not fulfilled. Because her need, everybody say need? A woman doesn't want affection. She needs it. Just like a car needs gasoline, a female needs affection. Affection is not sex. <clears throat> Having sex with your wife is not an expression of affection. It's usually the results of it. Affection, let me define it for you. Affection is the application of effects to produce an effect. Again, affection is what? The application of an effect to produce an effect. In other words, to show affection, you got to apply something to the person. And it has an impact and affects them. So you, you give an effect. That's why a woman needs to be told every day, by a husband, I love you. It's an effect. Every day, ten times a day, you tell her, I love you. She needs that as affection. Affection is sending her flowers for no reason at all. Affection is holding hands with her in public, walking through the mall. That's an application of effect. Affection is telling her, come sit near me again while we're driving. You did it when you were courting. What happened now? Affection is kissing in public in front of your old girlfriend. Come on, let's talk about it. affection affection is taking her for lunch for no reason any day of the week affection is taking her for lunch and it ain't got to be no big lunch take her to McDonald's buy one sandwich cut it in half that's affection and you share the sandwich affection is on your way home stopping on the side of the road pull on the side pick some bush Put them in a Coke bottle. And walk in the house and say, baby, I thought about you on the way home. Here. <laughs> She'll keep that bush for 10 weeks. Come on, ladies, talk to me. That's affection. Affection is not expensive. It just takes thought. Now, men, listen to me carefully. Do you drink gasoline? No. Does your car need gasoline? Yes. Do you take it to the gas station? Yes. Do you drink gasoline? But you drive to the gas station, don't you guys? Why? Because the car needs, and you need the car to function for who? You. So you take it where? To get what? Do you like gasoline? But why you take it there? Because the car needs it. See, you may say you're not affectionate. We ain't talking about you. You know what she needs. You don't feel like stopping to buy flowers. But you do it because that's what the car needs. Affection. 